Uh, my name is Patrick Peters, Head of Innovation, Master of Chocolatier for Chocolat. Today I will show you how to make Easter chocolates with different textures and how to make a, a shell. Fill the first layer with strawberry marmalade, the second layer with some crispy wafers, and then we'll show you how to close the mold. So in this case, we'll have tempered ruby. Shake the mold basically to get all the air bubbles out. The more defined the mold is, the more shaking you will have to do. Afterwards, we'll pour it out like this until you basically see less and less flowing out. You don't want to overdo it because then your shell will be too thin. So you put it upside down for five minutes so that it forms an edge. Here's what it looks like after five minutes upside down. So here we have our ruby shells, the ruby rabbit. We'll show you how to fill the first filling. In this case, strawberry marmalade, two thirds of top filling and one third of bottom filling is pretty much ideal. So here we have of course the strawberry and the Pralene with the crispy wafers. Now you can use mostly all red kind of fruit marmalades. You can use blueberry, blackberry. It goes all very well together with the ruby chocolate. So I'll show you how to close the mold. So here we fill the mold. Make sure you fill it pretty good. So every, every corner is covered when you shake it. This mold has now been 15, 20 minutes in the refrigerator. Uh, it's ready to come out. Uh, the contraction is really good, so meaning the shrinkage is really good. Here I showed you how to make a shell with the ruby chocolate. Fill the mold uh, with two different textures. My name is Patrick Peters, Master Chocolatier for Chocolat. I hope to see you next time in the Chocolate Factory at Chocolat.